It's October and I'm trying something different this year. It's called Inktober and it originated in 2009 when artist Jake Parker decided he wanted to work hard for about a month doing a design every day with pen and ink and illustration. He came up with a prompt list every year since then that gives a list of words that encourages artists and drawers and sketchers and doodlers to create an image in ink that can be shared on social media. Now, my friend Katherine Craker is a scientific illustrator and she posted her images online for years and I always oohed and odd and I said, what a fun project. So this year, I'm trying it. Interestingly, this year, the Inktober list for 2024, all the words are themed around the outdoors, mostly. So uh, words that helped me think about natural history illustrations. And sometimes for me, it's kind of fun to think of what sketch I might do that kind of corresponds with that words. You can also do them literally. So for the image of binoculars, you could draw binoculars. But I actually chose to do an osprey because I think their forward-facing eyes look like binoculars and they have amazing vision as well. Some of the words like backpack, you could draw a backpack. I chose to do a sail because it looks like it's carrying a backpack. There's a group of folks in the Guild of Natural Science Illustrators, and sometimes they create a list of their own that's all natural science lists. And the idea there is to try to come up with a sketch design, pen and ink drawing that corresponds to those words. And my amazing friend, Katherine Craker, often takes a word from that list and a word from the Inktober list and merges them and tries to come up with a really fun idea that illustrates those words. Anybody can do this project. You don't have to be a professional artist. I'm certainly not, but I do kind of like to mess around with pen and ink. I gave myself a couple of challenges. I said I'm only going to use these three pens and occasionally I'll add a little bit of color with ink markers. Some people use brushes. Some people, um, I've actually seen people who do watercolors. Uh, I've got two really fine point ink markers and then one that's actually has a brush kind of tip that helps me get some different techniques and, and textures as well. If you decide you'd like to join in, you can do one every day because there are 31 prompts for Inktober 2024, but some people do once a week or maybe two a week or maybe only five total. You can do whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. There's a few prompts I can't figure out what to do yet. Again, I'm trying to do all natural history ideas. So words like uncharted, mm, not sure yet, roam, drive, even the word landmark. I'm not sure what to do there yet. If you have any ideas, post them in the comments and maybe I can pick up on those because they're all towards the end of the month in October. If you'd like to see the illustrations that some folks do and some are amazingly detailed, like some of Catherine's, all you have to do is search in your favorite social media, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, with the hashtag Inktober or Ink October 24. Happy drawing! Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.